Hey everybody, I am just going to hopefully try and show you how easy it is to measure for a made to measure stump shrinker. And I'm just going to set up my desktop. So give me a second. So I have a PowerPoint presentation set up already with some stumps on it. And if I press this PDF, you will see the form that sometimes confuses people. Now, what I hope you will notice is that on all of these pictures, I want you to look at the S, okay? So this is a below the knee stump. Uh, the next picture is a below the knee stump and S is here, okay? The next picture is an above the knee stump and S is above the knee at the end of the stump. And the next one is a through the knee. And also S is here. So when you look at this form here, it says S equals the distal end of the stump. Okay, it, it's always, always, always where the stump finishes. And you'll notice that these like these dotted half moons, these are you for you if you want to fill them in so we know where the end of the stump is. It's no problem, okay? So let's talk about the form in general. So S is the end of the stump, and here it's showing it as if it's at the end of the feet, okay? But it could be through the ankle, which is a symes or a pyrigoph. It could be at B1, it could be at C, it could be at D, it could be at E, it could be at F. Wherever it is, wherever the end of the stump is, that is S, okay? That is going to be S, and it's very, very important that we know where S is because when we start measuring, we are going to be doing the length from S to wherever on the body that is. So let's go back to this first picture here, okay, which is a below the knee stump. And we're going to do a below the knee stump shrinker. So this is the knee. This is what we call the D. It's the top of the calf. This is the C, which is the biggest part of the calf. And the first measurement that you always, always do is C, and that is always taken at five centimeters, okay? So let's look at this picture on this form. So S, where is S gonna be on this form? It's gonna be approximately here where the B1 is, okay? So what we would do is we would take it, and let's pretend it's a, a left leg. So we would type in what the circumference is at B1, and let's pretend it's 20 centimeters. Easy peasy. We would then say, right, what is the length from the stump end to that first circumference? And the first length is always, always, always five centimeters. Okay? So five centimeters up. Here's the little uh, picture to remind you. Five centimeters up. What is the circumference? It's 20 centimeters. So this is what this red line indicates here. Okay? The next red line is going from the stump end to circumference at C. So we would take the circumference at C. And let's pretend right now that that circumference is 38. And we would measure, see where it says here, LSC, length from stump end to C. So we measure from the stump end to C. And let's pretend that in this instance, it is 15 centimeters. Then we're left with B, which in this case is going to be the top of the stump shrinker. So we would measure the circumference around D, and it's generally a little bit less than C, but not always. So we'll put um, 37, and we will measure from the end of the stump to D. So you see here it says LSD. It's not a drug, it's the length from the stump end to D, and we are going to say that it's. Um, 25. And that's as simple as that. The rest of the form is all about the options and things that you want. Makes sense so far? Let's do another couple just to make sure everyone is on the same page. So we'll just uh, take these out. Okay. And this form is downloadable off the Juzo website. Okay. So the next picture that I have in here is a below the knee. Okay. Length from the stump end to the first circumference, it's always taken at five centimeters. So here, again, it's probably the B1. So we will be putting the length in here in a minute. So circumference at B1 is always gonna be five centimeters. 
in this. The first one is always length from the stump end. So LS, length from the stump end, to the first point is always five centimeters. And then, of course, we start filling these things in. So let's say we measured the, the circumference here, and it was 17. And then we measured it at C. Looks looks quite quite uh, a big cardinal. So there, we'll call it uh, 39. And then circumference at D, 37. And then we would do the lengths from the stump end, as indicated by these red lines. Length to the first point, five centimeters, always, always. Length from stump end to C, which is here. We're gonna call it 17. Length from stump end to D, we're gonna call it 21. Make sense? So the key take home on these ones that we've done so far is that the first circumference is always, always, always taken five centimeters from the distal end of the stump, always five centimeters. And the end of the stump is called S. And we're gonna measure from the length, from the end of the stump to wherever that first point is. Okay, so don't worry that it says Y down here. If we're doing a very, very short stump, which we'll see in a minute above the knee, and the first measurement is F, it's gonna be length from the stump end to F. Let's have a quick look at that now. So next one, here we have an above the knee stump shrinker. So you could color in this little bit here so we know what you're talking about. The length from the stump end, because look, here is the S, so the length from the stump end to F is gonna be, you guessed it, five centimeters. We'll pretend we take a circumference there, Let's say it's 42. And then the length from the stump end to G, so this is this little arrow, this little red line here. Might help if I type in centimeters. Length from stump end to G, it could be 12 centimeters. Okay? So you don't have to put centimeters in if you don't want to. Everything should be measured in centimeters, no inches, okay? Circumference at G, let's call it 52. Easy peasy. So if you want to put this on the end, color it round, that's absolutely fine. Right, let's just blank out that form. Last one, I promise, just to iterate and show you a through the knee uh, operation. So here we have a through the knee amputation, okay? And you can see it's an X-ray and they have um, uh, an ITAP type uh, attachment there, okay? And we do do ITAP holes, don't worry about it, okay? So if you do have an osseo fixation, Juzo are the company to come to. So here again, we have S at the end of the stump, and this would be at E. E is for the knee, okay? So here's the end of the stump here. And we are gonna measure the length from the stump end to the first point, and guess how long it's gonna be? You guessed it, it's gonna be five centimeters. So we would fill in here five, okay? Next measurement point is going to be from the stump end to F. Let's call it 17. Next measurement point from the stump end to G. Let's call it 25. Maybe it's a bit short, maybe it's a bit long, don't know. But can you see this is LSG, LSF, LSE. It's telling us to measure from the stump end to that particular anatomical point. And these points, by the way, this is the internationally recognized measuring points for legs, okay? So we've measured the lengths from stump end, from stump end, from stump end, and then we just have to do the circumferences. So we take the circumference around about E, and we are gonna put that at, um, I don't know, let's call it 45, and then circumference at F, it's probably gonna be something like uh, 40, uh, sorry, 52, and then the G will probably put up something like uh, 59. So I hope that makes sense. Two take home points. The first circumference is always taken at five centimeters, wherever the leg is, okay? Wherever the length of the leg, wherever the amputation is. And that five centimeters is always from the stump end. And we measure the length from the stump end to the first anatomical point. So I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, please call us on, on 0161. 358-0104 or contact your local chooser representative. Thank you. Bye-bye.